Greetings ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Pokemon Dark Rising and in this episode uh, let us recap what happened last time well um, before I actually recap I this is going to be my latest upload so far so I have been uh, challenged uh, challenged nominated for a Q&A that I will be posting quite shortly and um, I also have some kind of news that I will be discussing some other time but uh, on a quick note uh, since we just got into this video, an icebreaker, if you're watching this for the first time, hi, this is the Prodigal Legion. Uh, I hope you guys, uh, or person, enjoy my content, and uh, you should check some more of my videos, because I kind of upload some more cool stuff. And, um, well, I broke up with my girlfriend, which is kind of sad, but uh, life moves on, I have to move on. Uh, the show must go on, as the great Freddie Mercury once said. So, with that being said, uh, let us go on to the next episode, which begins now, and uh, you will see what I have here. Now, I caught myself a Crawdont. Uh Sorry, it was a Corpsius. I trained it up to level 30. All of my guys are trained. I, I finally evolved Collector, which is fantastic. And uh, Spartan is at level 30... And uh, she just... Okay, sorry. He needs... I'm used to the one that I used in X and Y earlier. Uh, Kelly is still trying to, you know, make it there. I know that he needs a Thunderstone to become an Electros. Well, provided that the mechanics allow me to do so. And look what I got myself. A Timid. Timid, mind you. Timid Quilava. Which is fantastic. I just love it. So, um... Uh, I could not resist the fact. You know, I was just level grinding in that lava burn forest, and uh, when I finally uh, stumbled upon a Quilava, I was like, yeah, let's give it a shot. I caught it, and I said, I'm going to keep this, and it was so easy to train because of all the bug types and the grass types in the uh, uh, forest, the twist woodlands earlier, so I did a lot of grinding these days. I'm sorry I haven't been on YouTube for so long, but I have been swamped. My parents have kind of left the country. I'm left all alone with my sister and she studies so practically most of the week I'm alone I get to see my sister on the weekends and uh, I'm swamped but I'm still uh, you know I'm I still have you know time for my viewers you all know that so anyway uh, let us get out of this cave which apparently uh, you go up in a ladder and you just get out of the uh, cave entrance so remember this guy that we um, encountered earlier? Well, he um, he's gonna challenge us again. So so you're the one that they've been talking about. What? Uh, wait, I saw you. What is it? Oh wait, aren't you part of those thugs in that cave? What a typical thing to ask. I will dispose of you here and now. Uh, I don't think that's legal. Uh, just as I thought, you're a part of those thugs. Let's go! Now, this guy had a pretty much OP team. So, um, yeah, uh, this guy's going to send in his OP Ferro Seed. And he has the leftovers. This team is more of a competitive thing. So anyway, uh, let us send in snips to knock off the um, Pharaoh Seed's leftovers. I know it's not going to do a whole lot of damage, but I do manage to knock off the leftovers, which is fantastic. And um, my opponent goes for the metal, metal Claw, not that effective. So anyway, uh, since it's raining and since, you know, it's lousy and stuff, let us see what we can do. I'm going to go for a... Uh, by the way, they know Night Slash. <laughs> Fantastic. So, I'm going to go for the Bubble Beam, just to see how much I can do to this Ferro Seed. Uh, and it does a decent chunk, provided that it is not an effective move. Okay, this is bad. So, if the uh, rollout starts building up, uh, provided that my opponent doesn't miss, this is going to be somewhat troublesome. So, I have to take this thing out very quickly if I am to win this. So, pro oh, the speed goes down, as if, you know, Ferro Seed wasn't slow enough. So, uh, yeah, uh, my opponent's not going to be doing a whole lot of damage, and uh, let us go for the Bubble Beam again, and uh, hopefully we can, you know, take it out just by a little bit of HP, and the speed drops again, you haxy haxy thing! So, uh, opponent goes for the rollout again, brings us... Well, my defenses are quite high, actually. That is fantastic. So, I'm going to go for the Bubble Beam. They didn't set up any hazards, which is fantastic. I did not get hurt by the uh, uh, the Iron Barbs quote. And uh, we managed to take out one of the opposing Pokemon. So, in comes Solosis, and we all know that we can take on the Solosis. No problem. So, um, 
Solos, this kind of looks like the belly of a Larvitar, but anyway, that's none of my business. I'm gonna go for the knockoff to see what my opponent has. And, uh, they don't... Oh, actually, they do have an item. They do have leftovers. You're spamming leftovers, man. And it has the shockwave ability. Uh, sorry, attack. Which is horrible. And it will almost kill my Crodont. Uh, Snips, he, you know, you, you're just hanging in there, buddy. Thank you very much. So, let's go for a Night Slash and hope we can destroy this thing. And yes, we do. We're ripping apart and uh, we're ripping apart our opponent's team. And in comes Sneasel, which is most likely going to be faster. Yeah, so that can't be really good. Uh, I am going to go for the knockoff just in case my opponent wants to do something. But, oh, anyway. Um, I do... I recall me packing the Collector, and Collector has something that this guy will not like. And uh, so rain continues to fall outside of the cave, inside of the cave, it just doesn't really make sense. So I have the Pin Missile, which will be fantastic. So I am faster than the Sneasel, hopefully I do manage to connect a few more attacks. Three, four, come on, we need a four hit KO, ah, not good enough. Icy Wind. Uh, not something that I enjoy. Uh, getting f frozen here would have been bad. Anyway, so let's go for the poison tail here. My opponent's gonna go for the area lace. Ah, that kind of hurt. Uh, but the poison tail will be enough, hopefully, to kill this thing. And, uh, that worked out pretty fine. So, uh, we're gaining some XP here. Anyway, uh, no, we still want to keep up. No, I should have switched out. Anyway. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to switch out farther off Heli. Really farther him off this time, I'm sorry. Shadow Tag? Really? Okay, uh, this is lame. So I'm going to go for the Pin Missile, which I'm faster by the way, which is kind of weird. Two, uh, and uh, two is a standard, uh, three would have been nice here. So anyway, Extra Sensory is going to be super effective. That's bad for me. Uh, but no worries. Uh, I do have some very powerful Pokemon uh, in the back here. I'm going to reserve Spartan for last. It's my last resort, pretty much. Pun intended. <laughs> Although she he doesn't know uh, last resort. Anyway, I'm going to go for the Flame Wheel. Just to see how much damage I can do, despite the power being halved by the rain. It's not going to be enough, but we do get the Burn Hacks! The Burn Hacks continues, ladies and gentlemen. So... Um, my opponent goes for the nasty plot. We don't care because we also pack the priority quick attack. So even if my opponent survives the burn, uh, we can just pretty much uh, take them down. So, uh, Sid, thank you very much, boy. And uh, in comes Dino. I'm going to switch out here into Spartan because I really won't be doing too much against this guy. And I should keep one of my Pokemon alive because you never know. So... In comes Dino, and I can go for the Dragon Claw that will be boosted by the Dragon Fang that I do pack. It is a stab attack, and he survives. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> anyway, defenses drop. Special defense drops. Why should the special defense drop? Anyway, uh, it should be defense, but oh well. Um, I guess, you know, uh, there wasn't... In the third gen games, I think that the uh, splits were not... Um, the uh, yeah the physical and special uh, attacks were not uh, split and divided as they were in the third uh, generation so anyway uh, fourth sorry so we managed to defeat this mystery trainer that has a sprite of red not bad uh, we got a pretty handsome amount of money which is nice and good uh, you okay for a noob hey uh, if you see a girl with blue hair tell her Kao said hello Will you? Huh? We will see each other again, Nick. What the? He's gone. Are these guys ghosts? Okay. Uh, now, I can see a Pokemon Center. Finally, I'm so relieved. So, um, welcome to our Pokemon Center. Yes, you have to heal our Pokemon. You have to. Let's make this quick. And, um... Let us send in Helly. And it kind of sounds like Chelly. But it's not. Uh, for all those who uh, don't recall, Heli in Greek means uh, eel, and the Tynamo is kind of an electric eel, so you, you just get the reference. <laughs> anyway, we're ready, trainer. Uh, ready for what? That is kind of that that that's kind of wrong. 
Anyway, so Roy and Joy want to have a battle, and I will give them a battle. So in comes Nuzleaf. Why would they go one at a time? Just okay, I don't get it. So anyway, I can go for the uh, Flame Wheel, destroy this thing. Let's speed up the process, shall we? And uh, in comes Lombre. Uh, not that much of a problem. Uh, let's go for the Stab Flame Wheel. Swift, not that much of a problem. Swift again. Uh, extra Sensory, because uh, Quilava can learn Extra Sensory now. And uh, yeah, uh, we love you, Sid. Anyway, so level 28, we grew in level, and we are very good. I'm quite happy with my Pokemon, to be honest. Splendid job, and uh, we got paid very handsomely. Let us heal up again. So, uh, let us lead with Sid, because I like Sid. Yeah, he's he's my lead, so uh, let us move on. So, we're in the Dread Swamp, and from here, I do not know. I do not have any idea where we're going, so, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, we can traverse through here, and there are two people up here, so uh, we're going to bump into a Pokemon, Ducklet, which is kind of cute, but uh, we really don't need Ducklet right now. So, uh, these guys seem to be disputing about something. Uh, by the way, uh, let me uh, quickly uh, do something. Kind of had to save there because I could not uh, risk you know, any glitches or anything uh, ruining my progress. Uh, a kick of brutal ferocity, packed with destructive power. When you get right down to it, Mega Kick is the ultimate attack. Don't you agree? Okay, I'll teach it to your Pokemon. Mega Kick. Okay. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, instead of giving me the TM. Mega Kick on Heli. He doesn't have feet. Spartan has feet. Kulava has feet. But no, I guess it doesn't make sense. Uh, the value of Mega Kick. A punch with roaring ferocity, with destructive power. Yeah, Drain Punch! Yes! Hell yeah! Um, why does Heli learn Drain Punch? How? Okay, but, you know, when he evolves into an Electros, he can learn some pretty cool moves, so, yeah. Uh, let us get rid of the double team attack, and the Drain Punch could be very useful. So, Kelly learned Drain Punch, which is nice. We are comrades in the way of punching. You should go before you know, a full trainer, skilly, lacking, yeah, la, la. Anyway, so, let's continue traversing into this uh, field of grass and presence, and uh, we found uh, TM05, Roar, which is cool. So, uh, why does this guy have the girly uh, battle theme music running? You must be tough to come out of the caverns alive. Okay, this is Pokemon. Have you ever heard of anyone dying in the caverns? Um, this could be a video speculation thing, but no. So, in comes Geodude. I, I thought that Sid was a good idea, but apparently he's not. Let us switch out my Pokemon into someone who can take hits. That is you, Snips. Anyway, so uh, I guess that in this game, Rock Slide, whoa, hold your horses, mate. Okay, it must be a bread geo, dude. Anyway, so uh, as I was saying, um, I don't remember what I was saying, to be honest. So, yeah, uh, let, let's go on with this. Um, oh, right, I remember one, what I wanted to say. Apparently, people, uh, when they make the remakes, they kind of enable or disable according to what they want. Uh, I think that they kind of... Ooh, Mudkip. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick around. No, I'm going to switch into Heli because he's not a mud type. Mud type. Ground type yet. So anyway, as I was saying, it is quite easy um, to level up here. Uh, not easy, but it is accessible. Because uh, what I mean by accessible is that uh, usually the games have this restriction where if you exceed over some levels, your Pokemon will stop obeying. But this is not the case. And yeah, so uh, we defeated Hiker Tonka. Anyway, you're really tough. Yes, I am. Biatch. So let me uh, see what I can switch here. Uh, I think I should lead off with... Kelly, because given the current situation and the rain that never stops around here. Uh, by the way, I guess it might be a cyclone thing. And in comes a crow gunk. Not really interested in you, buddy. I do have drain punch, and I really think I should reserve my last spot for much later. So, anyway, suddenly 
Uh, there's this cave here, but I want to explore what's around. Anyway, so... Who's this guy? Must eliminate all... Whoa, what the? Is this Eon? Uh, he must be under the Rugus' control. Must eliminate. It's time to wake up, Eon. Who is Eon? I guess uh, he's one of our friends. Someone that we get to know, finally. So, uh, Pokemon trainer Eon would like to battle. Uh, our opponent's gonna send in Joltik, and we have our own Heli thing going on right here. Fantastic! So, uh, I guess we can go for the uh, tackle. Spider web. We cannot escape. It really doesn't matter. Uh, I. Wh whoa, whoa, that was crude. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's hope that. Uh, yeah, these things are too much of an OP thing. Uh, Shockwave is too OP. And, uh, yeah, Drain Punch isn't cutting it here. So, anyway, I'm gonna lose Heli, apparently. So, yeah. Uh, we get wrecked by Signal Beam, and we have to send in... Ugh, we have to send in the big guns. Snips, get out there, and, you know, uh, kick some ass, because that's what you do. That's who you are. You're Snips. And, uh, Spiderweb goes off, and we don't really care, because I can destroy you with Bubble Beam. Uh, in comes Elekid... Ah, uh, that is not a good... Uh, oh, ouch. Okay, bubble beam, bubble beam, bubble beam. Uh, yeah, not enough to kill me with a quick attack, buddy. Uh, I was hoping not to get thunder punched in the face, but anyway. In comes Jolteon. Yeah, that is something that I will not be surviving. So, this thing goes for the dig. I wish I had Heli around. Okay, so you want to play, player? You want to play? I'm going to send in the collector, and you're going to get poisoned. And that is how we roll. Uh, yeah, poison hacks for the win. And um, too bad we don't have speed boost, but it really does not matter. So poison's going on, unless this thing, you know, kind of has facade. It's going to be weird. So anyway, let's go for the pin missile. Uh, we missed. Is this thing, like, choice scarfed or something? Okay, yeah, let's go for the uh, spikes. Uh, we can send up. You can. We can set up these layers. It, it's going to be no problem. So anyway, uh, I'm going to set up again, and yeah. So three layers of spikes are on the ground, and I'm going to go for a. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go for anything. I guess uh, this opponent's annoying. Dig, and yeah, I managed to kill this guy if it wasn't for the residual poison damage that is. So yeah, collector is getting some. Aid. XP. Yeah, and Snips grew in level. So, yeah, that's okay. Uh, Ampharos, I believe that I'm much faster than this thing, and I will go into Spartan and destroy it with Dig, because this looks like a mono-electric team. So, yeah. Uh, let us go for the uh, Dig. Because we can. Iron Tail is gonna miss, and we're going to wreck... What? What kind of OP Pokemon is this? Oh my god, really? Really? Really, 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 you're gonna hacks me, right? You're gonna hacks me. Okay, this is ridiculous. Um, let us send out Sid, and Sid can take it from here. It's not enough. It's still not enough. Okay, this is ridiculous. If I lose here, this is so ridiculous. Too OP. This Ampharos was OP. I don't care about the static. I managed to win barely. Game over. Uh, uh, what's going on? Where am I? Um, yeah, you're all drugged. Uh, what happened? You were under a spell. A spell? Y you see, there's this monster who can control the minds of people willingly. I'm trying to figure how I got to uh, myself. So, uh, I see. My name is Eon, a gym leader in the Omni region. Uh, hey, I already know that. Really? Yeah, I've watched some of your battles on Poke Time. Uh, oh, I see. You must be a fan, eh? Uh, it's my first time here in the core region. I don't think I'll be coming back here after all this tragedy. Um, I don't blame you. Well, a young, well, young trainer. If you have time, you should travel to the Omni region and challenge the Omni League. Sounds like a good idea. Uh, I'll go there after this has been all figured out. Well, I guess I'll be seeing you, uh, Nick. Uh, okay, I'll be seeing you, Nick. Farewell. So this guy just doesn't walk, he kind of levitates through stuff. Yeah, he because he has the levitate ability, he's actually a Pokemon, he's not a leader. Uh, don't be fooled by appearances. And, um... 
uh, yeah, I knew that this was gonna happen eventually. So, it's still raining, I've gotten sick of the rain, it's kind of a sunny, you know, weather. Low tad, uh, I think if it has swift swim it's going to annoy us, but no, it's not, this is not the case. Uh, really, in the last patch of grass, Skorupi, we don't want to deal with Skorupi right now, I already have a poison bug type. And, uh... I like Drapion, but, you know, Scallopede takes the cake. Let us heal up real quick. That was a very close battle, by the way. So, let us explore this uh, area. We saw a cave earlier. I'm not sure if you guys recall, but I saw a cave, and I wanted to explore it. I know it sounds dirty, but I really want to explore that deep, dark cave. Okay, all sexual puns aside, before you guys charge me with sexual harassment and stuff... Uh, <laughs> Let us really go and check out that cave and see what is in there now that we're all healed up and these Pokemon are starting to annoy me. Ferro Seed! I love Ferro Seed, but I don't want one. Uh, I like to use Ferrothorn competitively, uh, not, um, you know, in-game because he's pretty much not that fast and useless. And Anyway, Atlantic Sewers. Okay, I guess that we, we lived through that one. Atlantic Sewers. The... Uh, this really doesn't look like a sewer to me. So anyway, let's speed the process up. And, uh, hey, what are you doing down here? I thought I told everyone upstairs I'd be done in a minute. What are you doing in a sewer, you douche? Um, sorry, I guess. Who are you and why are you down here? My name is Max. I'm from the Hone region. My dad's a gym leader there. I'm down here because I'm looking for clues how to find evil organizations that hurt my mom. What evil organizations? There's a bunch of them. I think they're all forming together to create some huge empire to take over the world using Pokemon. While my sis was off doing contests in the Omni region, my dad training in the mountains, uh, a group, a gr sorry, a group from the teams attacked my home looking for something. I was still a newbie trainer, so I couldn't do much against them, but now I've been training for several months and I'm on a journey to stop their plans of world domination. Uh, that's, uh, sounds like you're on an exciting, exciting adventure, something like a movie. I guess, hey, want to battle? Uh, not to sound harsh, but you look kind of new too. Sure thing, Max, let's do this. So we kind of found, bumped into Max from the anime, I guess. Um, I think so. Anyway, so in comes Leafeon, and I really won't be doing a whole lot of damage to this Pokemon. Level 37? What?! Um, okay, this thing is OP. Mimic. Okay, let us go for the knockoff. X Scissor is going to do a whole lot of damage. Uh, Mud Slap. This Leafy on his power. Okay, so let us go for the Flame Wheel. Leaf Blade. No, not that much of a good idea. So, Mud Slap, of course. Of course. Uh, this thing had Mud Slap. So, let us, uh. Uh, come on, that's right, Sid. You are. Good, good boy. So, Heli gets some XP. We also get some XP. In comes Dwebble. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so let us go for the... Um, I really don't know what to use here. So, anyway, uh, Stealth Rock is going to... Ah, the mishaps. Okay. So, uh, Spartan, get in there. I really need your help. So, Dragon Breath the crap out of this thing. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, if Spartan dies, we're all di dead. Okay, this thing is at level 40. I'm really, really worried. So, this thing has the Shadow Ball. I'm gonna go for the Dragon Claw, hoping to kill, and my opponent gets a crit, which is bad. In comes Collector. Please, 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 please do not disappoint me. Please, just don't. Super Potion, really? Two. Um, let's go again. Yes, we kill the Ralts. This guy is seriously OP. Okay, uh, we really need to grind in this game, which is um, challenging, quite challenging. So in comes Nose Pass, and I really don't have aga anything against this Nose Pass. All I can do is um, Pin Missile it, possibly do some damage. Nope, 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 nope. There's nothing I can do to this thing. So I'm going to go for the Pin Missile. I'm going to miss, really miss. Okay, Heli, show us what you've got. So, um, I'm going to try and, um, find a way of this thing, po possibly get some para hacks. Drain punch, full heal, really, really, 
really, really, and again, really, 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 okay. Um, what is up with this game? The creator of this game is stupid. I mean, logically speaking, how would I be at level 40 when my previous opponent was at level 24, not that far ago? Okay, anyway, this is stupid, so let us uh, restore Pokemon to full health. And uh, yeah, this game is challenging and stupid and really challengingly stupid. It was a very close match, so anyway, uh, we hope you excel. Now we know what we're up against, so I'm going to have to end this here. It feels kind of embarrassing that I lose all the time, but um, if it wasn't for such a really, really, really um, weird layout, you know, here, Pokemon really is difficult. So um, I'm going to have to end this episode here, and I will get you guys, uh, you know, I'll check onto YouTube, you know, I'll check in onto YouTube sometime later and upload the Q&A video, so um, without further ado, I will have to say goodbye, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, goodbye.